So it occurred to me after the last episode where I'm getting everything's ready for Yuri, and oh god, I hope Sayori doesn't find out this game better not go all 13 reasons with Sayori. I'm, I, I will not be happy. <clears throat> Alright. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's no doubt she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Uh, what do you hoping she opens up there, buddy? Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. Sexting. Meanwhile, we've even been... No, I'm kidding. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside... Making Yuri your side piece? I haven't heard a thing from... Oh, God. It's from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what, Man what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Um, no. Even if you are, quote-unquote, just friends. It's not okay, dumbass! I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? <sighs> wow, that was legitimate relief. <laughs> All right, game, you're getting in my head. Hi, Dokar. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it has always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations she's had for years now. Heh. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. The polka dots. I was like, what? Okay, she is. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? So you had left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Siri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Surrey smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Delcar. Huh? Why can't it be just like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world had decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. Sayori, grab the doll. Show me where the bad person touched you. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh -huh. Sarah gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Delcar. But 
You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Delcar? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Yes, I could, I mean, yeah. Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Soria kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? You're kind of an idiot. But depression's a terrible thing. Walking the black dog, baby. Sayori, I get it. Believe me, I get it. And whoever wrote this, either they or somebody close to them really gets it too. And, uh, yeah. Uh, man. I'll be right back. All right, I had to go look at some sunshine, take a little walk. Um, oh, the feels. Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Delcar. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. I don't like that analogy. I don't see any... Is that foreshadowing? If that's foreshadowing, I'm going to be... <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer to everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Haha. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Delcar. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, Delcar. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Delcar. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Delcar, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want for, uh, is for her to know that I care. If you have it in, yourself, in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. 
I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Delcar. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't! If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to th keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over, too, so I think Yuri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't, I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. Oh my god, sweater puppies. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It looks like you cleaned up, but you could have closed the closet door. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no. It would be I would be really embarrassed for a room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatch Yuri's wrist, which is in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. Don't want you to find those mangas, apparently. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, to ma as if making sure she's keeping track of them. All right, now, here's the thing. They talked about how my character isn't a much of a reader, uh, but I know these can't all be freaking mangas. One, you can't stack mangas like that. And what are those, CDs? Oh my god, are those CDs? So, um... Should we get started ah yes um i have a few things planned that you can help with decorations and other atmospheric enhancements atmospheric enhancements you know mood lighting aromatherapy candles ah uh, yeah i know oh wow i didn't know you planned on taking it that far wait is that the drawer you had the condom in of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget you're a pretty intense person. It is? My God, I am an idiot. Ah, intense. I'm worried you got a frickin' knife in your pocket or something. 
I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Quaaludes? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. Ha 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 